It's just another man crush Monday. Welcome back, comrades, to another special Man Crush Monday. I guess they're all kind of special at this point. But anyway, uh, for this Man Crush Monday, I'm going to go with someone that's uh, uh, very deeply special in my PC, and this is part one of two, only because, obviously, I think everyone realizes that most YouTube videos, unless there's some pretty girl cracking backs and some chiropractor type thing... Uh, most views are not much longer than five to six minutes. So uh, I brought the whole crew. So I've got Wolverine. I've got some whiskey. I have uh, Shaq Bobblehead. And off-center Shaq makes his uh, prized appearance back. Um, also, due to some um, some requests, I've moved the card holder up. So please let me know how you like that. Uh, and then I've got in the back, so one of my... Um, Guilty Pleasures is the 5x7 cards, and as you can see, I have them uh, in-person autographed by Nolan Jones, so I know it's a legit auto because I got them myself. Um, and this Man Crush Monday, obviously, is going to be to Nolan Jones, so you guys already heard one of my funny stories about how I met uh, his family. Um, in this uh, Man Crush Monday, I'm going to cover my leaf panini and in-person auto cards so we'll start right off with uh these panini, panini prism um silvers so i do have some that are base uh but i really don't do anything with them uh, and as far as this one it, it is a silver prism it's now on deck you see it says prism right and for not wanting to spend a whole lot of time on it these are just the ones that i found close by these are all silvers so very pretty but so that's the first panini card I have I don't have a whole lot of panini I do have uh, this bad boy uh, this is a, it's a sticker auto, which I'm not a huge fan of. It's part of the reason that I love Bowman Chrome, which in the second, um, the second half, you guys will see just how many uh, first Bowman Chromes I have of his, or Bowman Chrome auto. So this also is a prism, a silver prism. Again, it's not in a super special top loader. I tend to not move them unless I'm going to get them graded or uh, for some reason I need or want to sell them. Um, I will move them to a clean top loader, clean penny sleeve, all that jazz. Uh, and for those of you wondering, I will not drink when I do that, I promise. I'm drinking now. All right, so this card, right, I have another one. That was not sleight of hand. I do have two of those. And then I really like the look of these also. These are also silver prisms. So, again, sticker autos, though. Not a super fan. I do have two of those. And, you know, as we're going through the cards, I do want to say um, Nolan Jones has a super sweet swing. And if you ever see him play, if you get a chance to... He's in AAA now, playing for the Columbus Clippers. If you ever get to see him swing... The dude has crazy power, and he doesn't look like he's even trying to swing, which uh, me being a Ken Griffey Jr. fan, who's another Man Crush Monday that's going to come up at some point, uh, I think you'll kind of get an idea of just why I uh, first thought he was going to do super well. All right, so similar card to this one, but you'll notice there's a gold hue. Uh, this is the gold version, and... It's numbered to 10. So this is 10 out of 10. Uh, if you didn't know, that was his number. Um, well, he's had 10, he's had 15, but you can see he signs it. 10. So it's jersey number. It's out of the jersey number. But those are my paninis, or at least uh, the ones that I could find. So I'll very quickly go to the in-person autos. So this is uh, Topps Pro Debut. In-person auto. I did not obtain any of these in-person autos. I, 
I said on the earlier video, the HGA, uh, that I really don't uh, track any players down, and that's true. The only two that I've ever had them sign were the two 5x7s in the back. That was during an autograph session that the Akron Rubber Ducks uh, put on, which, by the way, um, that's another video I'd like to do. I'd like to start focusing on minor league uh, baseball, uh, but I want to start off with the Akron Rubber Ducks and just how awesome it is to be a season ticket holder and all the special things that they do for you. Uh, they really go out of their way to make you feel comfortable. And uh, not only that, the perks are well worth it. So I encourage anyone, you know, find out what your minor league deals are. If you like baseball and you've got a minor league team nearby, don't miss out. It's the best deal in sports by far. So these ones, I have three. I bought these all off the same... Uh, person who I believe picked them up off eBay uh, back in the day. I like this one. This is from when he was on the Captains. Again, nice on-card auto. Uh, I'm no autograph uh, expert, but I'm pretty sure I could tell his whether or not they were real by now. Uh, and as you can see, he includes that 10 on a lot of them, number 10 there. He was number 17 on the Rubber Ducks. I'm not sure what he's pulling uh, down in Columbus right now. Don't judge me. And then the first Bowman, uh, that black looks pretty sick on there. Just really nice. If I wanted to, I could send them in and get them uh, authenticated, but I really don't have any intent of getting rid of them. Um, I like to share with my friends. Uh, so there's potential that I would give those away at some point in time. So, Leaf. So this is the only, like, patch auto I have. These were very interesting. So this is 7 out of 25. Uh, this was from the Nike Perfect Game. And as you'll see, most of the Leaf uh, cards that I have are from that. Like, so you'll see the pictures of him having the Perfect Game. Um, Union. Cheers to that. And um but but the jersey that's in there is an Indians jersey and it does say authentic player worn patch. So uh they're actually pretty cool. I mean if you can get over the fact that it's leaf, it is an on card auto with the patch. I apologize, it's not. By the way, make sure you leave comments if you like this distance of the card. I can keep doing that for future HGA videos and whatnot. Although I did film the uh, the huge one that's going to break the internet. Uh, I filmed that uh, from back. Yeah. So, but it's pretty fast and it's more about valuation. So, if you like that distance, let me know. So, further going, got this nice acetate card. It's numbered five out of five. So, nice on card auto. I've got this uh, blue kind of chrome refractor looking. Uh, obviously, Leaf cannot make refractors since they're not tops, but uh, pretty sick card, 22 out of 25. Then we've got this pink. It's numbered to 15. Same exact deal. Oh, hi. It's almost like the colors of my logo, blue and pink. Kind of got that Miami Vice look. Now, I apologize about putting my hand in the way again. We've got this one. It's numbered to 30. It's paper, sticker auto. Not my favorite. Maybe I'll do a giveaway one day of that card. Uh, it's still pretty cool. Not, I don't want to get huge into giveaways. I'll probably give them to some of the original subscribers if you guys are interested. Let me know. I have this green uh, numbered to 10. Uh, again, has the prism effect, prism refractor effect, I'm sure you can see, on card auto, and then I had the blue to 25, same kind of deal, very pretty, yes. Now, I love that this is like the smaller part of my collection, and this is taking pretty long, so um, the next one, who knows, I might have to split into an another two, the Bowman and Tops, but... I'll try to be respectful of everyone's time. So, this next group. Um, so, these are 
these are from uh, the Leaf Perfect Game National. It's the common card. And I have every one of the printing plates. Well, I'm like blocking the light and whatnot. So, I guess I've got those two. I guess I could just do this. That one. And that one. So, we've talked about Super Collector and the Brandon Whedon Man Crush Monday. Um, yeah, I guess I'm kind of the Super Collector here. Well, I should say, I don't know if I'm the Super Collector. There's potential that someone has a better collection than me. And possibly someone in the Philippines that invested in him in a while a while ago. Uh, this one's a sticker auto. I'm not, again, not a huge fan. But one of one is one of one. And then another sticker on this printing plate. Pretty cool. Now this is from uh, that patch card. What that uh, picture looked like. Alright. So now... These are leaf proofs. Um, it's a one of one, as it is the only one. Um, so that's one. I'm just going to stack them right here. So this is also like an acetate one of one. It's the purple version. And these are not graded, they're just in leaf slabs. Here's a green acetate. Take that all in. Yes, you're probably going, wow, that's a, a lot of very similar card. Um, it keeps going. And you're like, wow. Um, it's almost like an uncomfortable amount. You're at, what, four? Well, pretty much the same card. This one's clear acetate, though. Very smooth, right? Very smooth. Okay, so, like, four, four is kind of a lot. Well, what about a fifth one? How about that clear blue acetate? So again, um, this was encased at Leaf, as you can see. Uh, when I picked these up, I'm pretty sure they came from uh, Leaf itself. I can't remember what the guy told me, but so now you have the what they call the prismatic. You're probably like, oh my god, that so many cards you have five over there this is number six right six and they do say oh, one of one if it come on anyway this little thing right here yeah there it is one of one right so that's number six number seven the purple prismatic or prismatic purple number eight the Prismatic Red. Very pretty card. I mean, one of these days it might not be the worst thing in the world to crack them out and have them sign them because the, the back is blank. So you'd still be able to figure out what they were and then send them somewhere else. But Oh, how about a Prismatic Blue? One of one. Very pretty. Right? Not horrible. How about the Green Prismatic? Or Prismatic Green it's pretty good. Cheers, cheers to that, Nolan. If you didn't know, so Nolan played uh, hockey, or at least um, his brother and sister were telling me they played hockey uh, first. Was, like that was his like original love, and then he ended up um, switching to baseball, I believe, because of concussion issues. Don't quote me on that, but. Um, and I, I mean, that's one hell of a way to go. You're that good of an athlete that you can play something as high-skilled as hockey. Switch to baseball, which is actually probably more skill. I mean, you know, hitting a baseball, I guess, would be the, the higher-skilled part. Um, and, and to be really successful at that. So, I mean, I think it speaks to how athletic he was, or is. And then the last one. So this one's kind of the super, they call it the super prismatic gold, but it's the the gold vinyl that you would typically see in the Super Fractor, which Topps owns that uh, name, so obviously they're not going to call it a Super Fractor. Um, but another one of one uh, pre-production proof. So this is the last card I'm going to go with today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Oh yeah, if you didn't see, 
the big five by sevens are numbered to 10. They're both four of 10. And, um, and they're in person autoed. So we'll check with the team real quick. How, how we did, uh, Wolverine loved it. Shaq loved it. Off center Shaq. Not a whole lot to say. Was there off center Shaq other than you're not where you're supposed to be. Should probably be about, you know, 50 thou to the right, probably another 20 thou up. But off center shack doesn't say a whole lot. But he does shine. Pretty. Very pretty. All right, get out of here, shack. This is Nolan Jones' show. Uh, just real quick up front. So, super cool card. Hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, get out there and support your local minor league teams. Uh, you never know. You might you might see the next star of your favorite team or the star of someone else's team and have a good story later on. And uh, if you see the guys afterwards, if you head, head to a bar and see any of the players, buy them a drink because a lot of them don't make uh, a ton of money. So make sure you give the money back to the minor league team, and then if you get a chance, buy them a drink at the bar. All right. I'll catch you on the next one. Hide your drinks. Hide your cards. They're ripping everything out here. It's a drunk wax era.